Hi, I'm John. Welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. In today's episode, I'm going to go over the new Warhammer Underworld starter set. This starter set was recently announced and went to pre-order here this last Saturday. It has some really cool aspects to it that I think for new players especially will find this very interesting and gives new players the opportunity to jump into this game. So with that said, let's begin. So as mentioned, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on the uh, the new Underworld's new starter set. I had spoken about it a little bit briefly in a previous video where I did the recap for the pre-order from last Saturday. So I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on this. So, so here we are. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this video. I'm going to mute the sound as always. So sorry if that briefly blew your speakers up. But yeah, we have two, I'm going to say two new warbands. Uh, the sculpts, again, I mentioned this in the previous video, they look very similar to existing models. The only difference might be the sculpted bases. Um, so maybe new, may not be new, but at least the warbands themselves are new in terms of we have cards specific for these models. What's really interesting, as we're seeing here, uh, they kind of made it to where you have pre-constructed play decks. So if you haven't played before, you can jump right in, which I think is brilliant. And it's been kind of a trend lately. Uh, I've been involved with a couple different trading card games now. And one of them, I kind of help with the, the design of the game itself, the game mechanics. And uh, at the time, it was kind of, it wasn't really a thing where you had pre-constructed play decks to get into a new game. But as we were going to conventions and doing tournaments, we'd have people come up to us and ask, hey, do you have a pre-constructed play deck? I'd like to learn the game a little bit more easily. And I was like, that's a great idea. We didn't, we didn't have those. We had some for demonstration purposes, but not necessarily for, uh, for players to buy. Uh, but that seems to be more of a trend. You see it in uh, card games like Magic the Gathering, especially. Um, and now with the new starter set here for Warhammer Underworlds, you get two new warbands uh, to play, Stormcast and Night Haunts. And then uh, they have these pre-constructed play decks where you can jump right into learning how to play the game. Once you get the fundamentals of the game down, then, of course, there's uh, more cards you can use to customize your play decks. In fact, they also have released, and we'll jump down just a little bit. I believe they talk about it. So I thought they talked about it in this uh, particular article, but they don't. In Saturday's pre-order, we'll just temporarily jump back to that. They encourage you, there's basically a set of 60 cards that are neutral cards that once you learn the fundamentals with this new starter set, then you can kind of add to that and develop your uh, play your play deck further with these essential cards. But the starter set comes with all the standard fare of previous starter sets. It has your boards, it has your cards, your tokens, your dice. So and of course your miniatures. Pretty straightforward, push fit. Um, you can push fit, of course, or you can uh, glue them. I tend to glue them, but that's just my preference. This will, looks like a pretty interesting uh, starter set for the Stormcast. It's a ranged faction this time around. Um, usually when a war band is uh, smaller in model count, it tends to have stronger per model units, if you will. Um, so this is four, this is kind of in the middle. I would argue they're probably pretty strong uh, individually. And then, of course, as a warband, having ranged is, is never a bad thing. And then for the night haunts, the same thing. Normally, you would get uh, more night haunts, so they're weaker per model, but the warband itself is strong. So the fact that you only get four night haunts, these are probably pretty strong models individually as well. Again, these models look familiar to what we've seen in other releases from night haunts, but. Uh, they may be slightly different for this game or new. The bases tend to uh, be unique for this game. So looks like a, a more quick, you know, 36 page. I'm not sure if that's that quick, but a quicker learn to play rule set. So it says one of the key differences between this and the complete rule book is that this keeps the focus on the core gameplay, enabling you to get stuck in and crumping each other's warbands as quickly as possible. Get crumped. 
Then, as I mentioned, the card deck. So one of the more complex aspects of playing Warhammer Underworlds is deck building. However, the contents of this set are geared towards easy play. As such, it features two hand-picked cards or pre-constructed play decks, one for each warband, that provide you with a balanced hand for both the Storm of Celestis and the Drapur's Wraith Creepers. Uh, this frees you up from having to learn how to build competitive card decks for your warbands and ensures you can get straight into the action, which I think is a great idea. Uh, we're now kind of about two years into this game system, if you will. So I think even though we just had the Dire Chasm starter set, I can see, and I and I would agree, there's a good argument to have like a beginner starter set to come out. Dire Chasm is for those folks that have been playing for a while, but this starter set allows new players to come into the game and not feel overwhelmed when you come into something with kind of a, a more advanced rule set, even though it's just the normal rule set. Usually with every new release, like whether it's Beast Grave or Dire Chasm, they introduce new rules. This gives you the opportunity to kind of just like learn the core mechanics. And I think there's value to that as opposed to trying to figure it out. If you were just to jump into Dire Chasm, it might be a little overwhelming. So I, I think this is a cool thing. And then with those essential cards, that helps you flesh out these decks as you get more experience playing the game, which they mention right here. Game boards looks like they're the standard uh, double sided. Yep, two double sided game boards. Very cool. Um, depicting key locations that can be contested the cursed obulet, the soul refractor, mirror well, and the Shishian star dial. I believe these are actually, I think these are from Shadespire. They may also, may also be from Night Vault, uh, Night Vault as well. And then the standard tokens and dice. That's cool. Yeah, I, I think for the money, this this is a great option. I, I I mentioned in my previous video, I wasn't sure if I I was going to pre-order this, but I, but I have. Yeah, I one, because I am a completionist. And two, I've mentioned in other videos as well, when I see new models for whether it's Age of Sigmar or for uh, Underworlds, there's usually rule sets for them that can be applied for Warcry. So when we can have models that can be used for different systems, that's usually two thumbs up for me on, on getting that. So regardless of Underworlds, I'd probably pick it up for those models for the potential for Warcry. But because I'm also a diehard Underworlds player and a completionist, it's like uh, all good, all upside. Do you agree that it's uh, warranted to have a kind of a beginner starter set for new players? I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. So that's it for this article. Let's go ahead and do a quick little summary. All right, so what do you all think of the new Warhammer Underworld starter set? I think it's a pretty good value personally. I'd love to get your comments and thoughts below. And uh, especially if you're a new player, how does this impact you as far as your decision making goes? Do you just jump in right away to the existing content with Dire Chasm, or do you pivot and get this starter set first to understand the mechanics? And then after you get this kind of dialed in, move on to getting the essential expansion cards and then go on to Dire Chasm, what does that look like to you? I'm curious. You know, I have a little bit of a bias filter, I guess you could say, because I've played the game since Shadespire came out. I'm still going to pick this up because they are two new warbands. There are some new neutral cards. That that always interests me. So I'm, I'm going to get it for those reasons, but I'd like to hear your thoughts and reasons as well. And with that said, again, for those of you that have not subscribed yet to the channel, it really helps it grow if you do that. So subscribe, notification bell, share the content, all the stuff. Yeah, that really helps and it's greatly appreciated. So with that said, thanks again so much for watching. Take care, be safe, have a great day, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.